The Queen's Club is a private sporting club in West Kensington, London, England. The club hosts the annual Queen's Club Championships, men's grass court lawn tennis tournament. The Queen's Club is conveniently located in the heart of West Kensington. The club benefits from closed transport links via both road and public transport. By two, Barons Court Underground is just 100 meters away. Body check for security purpose is mandatory before you enter the venue. Your belongings are also inspected by ground staff. Once you enter the venue, you can enjoy welcoming music and also many kinds of food at Court 1 Pavilion. Looking at food menu, you can choose from British cuisine, sushi, salad, baguette, sandwiches, snacks. You can choose anything you want. This is what I got. Picnic scotch egg with vintage cheddar, pork pie and pickles. £9.50 is a bit expensive but scotch egg was good. After enjoying the scotch egg, now I am heading to the center court. It only takes a minute or two to the center court. Now, all boys and all girls coming into the court. Next is line judges. Finally, players are coming into the court. Chair umpire does the coin toss. A five minute time clock will begin following the coin toss and begin the warm up period. During this time, the chair umpire will make announcements informing the players of the three minute, two minute, one minute, 30 seconds, and end the warm up marks. Following the conclusion on the five minute warm up period, a one minute countdown will commence. At the end of this one minute countdown, a player must be ready to play. Players are allowed to challenge line calls if they think the line calls are incorrect. Mm -hmm. 
players change ends when the number of games played adds up to an odd number. Players can rest 90 seconds between end changes. Spectators are only allowed to move around between end changes. The tennis balls in Grand Slams, ATP and WTA tournaments are changed after seven games and after every nine games thereafter. There are six balls in play in these events. Sometimes you can see players show respect, sportsmanship and care. Here is the view of entire venue from the center court. Wheelchair tennis is played in the same way as able bodied tennis, with the only exception being that wheelchair tennis player is allowed two bounces of the ball. Now let's walk around South Pavilion area. Drinking water is free for everyone. On your left, you will see coffee bar and ice cream shop. People are required to maintain social distancing while queuing. Sponsors are given a booth to promote their product and services. Finally, I will walk along practice court viewing area. If you come to the venue at the beginning of the tournament, let's say day one or day two, you can see players practicing in these courts. But if you come to the venue at the end of the tournament, say semi-finals or finals day, you won't be able to see players practicing in these courts. This is the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed it.